trying to think where we went from here. Whoa! <laughs> I'm going for speed! Ah! <laughs> 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 it wasn't even falling! <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we've got Neil. Where is he over there? From NJ Tech Channel. And we've got Steve from Dude Stuff's channel. We're gonna go on a bit of an e-bike ride. So I'm gonna take the high-powered bike. Um, obviously it's road legal, so gotta wear a proper um, crash helmet. Um, this is the one, obviously if you've seen the other videos, you'll know this bike. So this is running 4,000 watts. It's a registered bike um, and it's a mope, registered as a moped. So, so if you wanna see more of this, go check all the other videos out. But basically, this is a beast. Now I've just gotta get it out of here. Just gotta make sure it's charged. Yeah, 82 volts, we're good to go. Right, so Neil's bike is the Carrera, which you would have seen. I don't know if you would have seen it in the video yet. There's a few videos to come on this bike. What we've got on this one is a 52 volt battery, um, I've got a phase runner and we've got a 1500 watt um, rear hub motor on there as well. And Neil has just gone to town with all the kind of, you know, making sure everything's like running right. And it, I rode it earlier and it feels just so locked in. It's yeah. just so dialed in now, isn't it? It's, it's feeling where it needs to be now. Good power. Uh, the, the flux weakening thing is just incredible. I, I can't recommend the phase runner enough. It's not just that, it's the efficiency as well. I mean, mm. I've done several range tests on this and at the minute without like particularly I'm not going into full try hard mode but um, just a general mixed ride 60 miles very achievable yeah. each time I mean that is just bonkers to get 60 miles out of this kit and obviously with the standards kit you know that comes with the Kobe bike kits you don't get that sort of range that's what happens when you have a speed controller that's got um you know variable pwm frequencies and that's the magic source that's the magic yeah, yeah. definitely that's the phase runner right there so that's a good way of doing it and they they will go on any bike basically you know any hub motor any mid drive as well and the phase runner is also running on um steve's bike here which is, isn't steve's bike but it's it's the, the vapor that's what he's going to be riding today um and this thing i think to be honest the difference between this bike and this bike they're running similar power you're talking about about 2700 watts i think you were saying 27? yeah this is, this is running about 2700 which feels like a nice sort of comfortable spot for this but um yeah having well we've both ridden both of them and compared them and it's it's just where the where the torque really sits i think on mid drive you've got low down torque right well that's right it. yeah i mean if you if you're sort of riding around on that sprocket there this with the phase runner you can hit you know over 30 mile an hour in just that gear without changing gear so you've got crazy acceleration which will pop a wheelie at any point but also you'll still get about 30 mile an hour um top end so these two are very similar and i think we should probably do a video at some point you know to show how these how it's basically like mid drive versus hub because it is it's quite an eye opener obviously i think this pulls away a little bit quicker but when it comes to kind of top end the hub tends to win so i mean steve's bike your own bike builds which we've done in the videos is a, is a 500 watt and because it's a geared 500 watt it actually pulls away probably similar to similar sort of thing to this but say it's a 500 watt kit but it's actually running about 900 watts yours isn't it something like that 800, 800 and something like that so it's a bit um that's what happens when you sort of over volt but then um then we've got this one obviously he's running a lot more power um but not too much because it is he's actually still a moped so um yeah anyway <laughs> How do I go faster? <laughs> How do I go faster? It felt like it was about to give up steam. Do I need to change gear? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Technically, you don't have to stop at that, do you? Or do you? 
See you later. <laughs> Hello. Who's going to win? Oh, it's always the hooligan. I'll let him go ahead, I'll let him go ahead. Open up the gap! Is that on your right? Hill. That's why he's coming. I couldn't see Andy then. I'm trying to think where we went from here. Whoa! <laughs> Is that full tilt? Yeah, it was. Ouch! <laughs> Such a hooligan. I think that'd be alright now. <laughs> Drop off. It's yeah. Norway. Do you know it's had drop off before? There's some uh, there's some nasty logs at the bottom though. What's that? There's some nasty logs at the bottom. That is a drop off down there, isn't it? I'm more worried about the log at the bottom and stuff. I don't the know. log. Be right. Bad. Yeah, be right. bang it. I don't know. Why have I been designated this <laughs> task? Because you're on the most capable <laughs> machine for this sort I'm of thing. I've got rear suspension, you know. I wouldn't want it. You know, I mean, otherwise I would. So. <laughs> I've got rear suspension actually. There he goes. Yeah. See ya! Oh, right. <laughs> I wonder if I can get up it. So, what you're going to have to do is put it in the biggest gear, pedal, lean forward and give it some boom. Mate, that looks much worse to go back up. <laughs> I don't think looks that. far worse to go back up. It you know does. like them rock climbing things I've got in America? Yeah. It looks like that from here. Come down here and have a look. <laughs> I don't think I can get down there. I'm not sure I'll get back up. <laughs> You, you can't see you can't see coming into it from the field because it's in the shade. Oh. So you're just riding in blind. Oh my god. And you've got you've got things like this in the way. You should be able to do it. I mean, I don't know if you get an impression of what this looks like in the in the flipping camera, Mate, but that's steep. And it don't look like it's got much grip either. No, that's the trouble. You'd have to come at it with some speed really, wouldn't you? I'm just going to have to roll up here and bail out if I don't <laughs> make it or something. No pressure. Oh. <sighs> there we go. This could be the last time we see him walking. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. He hasn't even fallen. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't. <laughs> Jesus. Nailed it. What? You haven't even tried it yet? There's a metal wire going across. Is there? My foot got wrapped in it. <laughs> Look, your bike's caught in it. Mate, that's sketchy, you can't do that. What? You're joking me. Look at that. <laughs> Don't turn it, might be connected to mine. Mate, I've got my foot wrapped was, in it. That was so funny, you just like, <laughs> fell off sideways. I just stopped, you got a whole metal thing. <laughs> Shit. We believe you, mate. We believe you. <laughs> Look, I've got it on the GoPro. Oh, my uh, God. Not good. Not good at God, all. Imagine if you didn't know that was there and you just came up at it really fast. Oh, mate. You would have clotheslined himself. Pedal, 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 pedal. Yes! Nailed Look it. at that! Nailed it. Oh my god, well done, <laughs> that is the nuts! That's wicked. I had to do it from a short run up. There you yeah. go guys, look at that. Nice. Can you see it from down here, that little cable? I did once she pointed it out. <laughs> I just stopped riding, I was just riding and then it just hit the floor. <laughs> look at there, oh, that was good. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh gosh, you just went... <laughs> oh! <laughs> A 
20 mile an hour burnout, I think, there, wouldn't it, Ed? Right. Is that a 20 mile an hour burnout, dude? Oh uh, look, the suspension guys, the suspension guys are, um, <laughs> are out doing the uh, hard tail. No. Sat down for that. No, you don't want to be. <laughs> that's, that's what I was on. <laughs> Go up one. Is that it? Is that the lowest? Yeah, that's it. You're running out. Those, those have got so much traction, them tyres, though, that's the thing. They were pretty flipping. <laughs> oh, Steve, you're going to love that bit up there because there's like um, there's like a load of. Do you remember last time? I like the wooden bridge. Bit. I can't remember what else to Yeah, no, this bit coming up. What? What's all this about? No, no drone, drone zone. zone. If someone's prepared. What? Flying drone report immediately. Stance to police. Well, it's actually to stand that there's anything if any plane around here was near any of this at 50 feet you'd have a lot more to worry about than a drone yeah <laughs> oh, he's stealing my limelight <laughs> he is isn't he <laughs> so does that apply to 200 to the lower grade drones as well so like the, the toy grade ones or the i mean this there's I mean, as i said there's a lot of gray area there's a lot of regulation that needs putting in place and to be quite honest with you the faa don't really <laughs> <laughs> the FAA. Yeah, Outside sure. of that, my advice is stay under 250 grams. That's the all-up weight of the quad. Uh, and then you don't actually have to register the quad. Anything over that weight, you do have to register it now. Who's your mate? Got more you know, worries about him, being hit by him. Hit by Steve at the minute. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, that, that's really what it's about. Um, and, uh, oh, we're basically melting now, guys. Oh God. So Outrageous. It's so it's so much fun though. You like the, you like the vapor I then? I absolutely love this. Yeah. <laughs> it's the second bike I've ridden, second e-bike I've ridden. Full suspension is a way forward, definitely. Yeah, you're loving it. You can ride though as well. This is the thing, like, I didn't yeah. realize you could, you're actually like pretty bloody yeah. decent. Yeah, I don't know about decent, but yeah, not too bad. Got the, um, it's from the motocross days, though, isn't it, really? Yeah, I did a little bit of motocross intermediate level only, nothing special, but full suspension is so much better off-road. Good, so isn't much it? Better. And the extra power. Yeah. That hill climb that I did shocked me that it made it all the way up there. That was crazy, that. Just I thought I was going to have to bail off halfway through. Well, you the did hill. bail off. <laughs> On the way down. Yeah. <laughs> On the way down. I got stuck in the pants, yeah, when you were at a standstill. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make up for it. I had to redeem myself. Yeah, the way back up. <laughs> you did sure. a little bit. Yeah. It's a new little tradition that you have to do is you have to fall off at the bottom so that you make it up the top. Let's go and get a drink, lads. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he's off. <laughs> <laughs> Just got away with it. Into a perfect day. <laughs> you owe me a new set of tyres. <laughs> you owe me a new set of tyres. I do owe you a new set of tyres. Have you knocked any, knocked any bobbles off? They're fine, honestly. Fine. <laughs> Are they nice and warm? That's not too bad. Not too it? bad, no. Yeah, it's all pretty nice, isn't it? That's good. good. Oh. Nearly off, nearly fell off. Uh, I missed saved that. it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, because I, I was all on the front brake. Did your front brake I skip? just lent a bit much and then this just kicked out. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a little issue. We've got a little issue here. Um, the vapour's basically cut out and there's a fuse inside this battery. We think because of this hill here and the combination of that and trying to keep with these two bikes, which are running obviously you know, more power and obviously phase, well, that's running more power, but it's the phase run, but there's a phase run on that, isn't it? I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, but basically we need to, we need to try and find a rescue situation because it's sweltering out here. Um, yeah, so I'll have to go and get a car, mate, I think, and bundle, right. bundle that in the back. It's all out here. It's really hot out here, stand in the shade. <laughs> I'll try, try and be as quick as I can. Actually, Andy, I've got an idea. What? <laughs> He's off. Cheers, mate. Thanks, mate. Ah, uh, 
Oh, look at this. I knew it'll work out well in the end. <laughs> I suppose I should join in and help as well. Yeah, we had to find a shop and uh, get some drinks because it's, uh, it's a little bit hot out here. It's a little bit hot. I was just saying, it's like 34 today or something. It's ridiculous. Quick ride, he says. Quick ride. Quick ride. Slashed the bits in the bushes, fallen off in a metal fence, <laughs> and I've blown Andy's bike up. <laughs> You're not going to take me out again, are you? No. I need more tyres as well. <laughs> look at this. Look. look at the shred on that. Oh, love it. So there's no way of getting this home then. How are we going to get home? Uh, i going to think about it. Start <laughs> hard to think. There he goes again. <laughs> uh, Tonight, got a tow rope. It wasn't we swapping bikes halfway through the ride? Didn't you say he was going to have a look at going on? I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember that. Oh, I ain't got time for this, lads. <laughs> Where's he going? Steve, it's not that way, it's that way. You're going that way. It's that way. Where's he going? <laughs> this is well, the funniest video ever. <laughs> Oh, a bit of energy had left. Yeah. We just wasted it going the wrong way. There you go. It's that way, mate. <laughs> Pedal power alone. Feeling the burn. Well, we're back. <laughs> we're back in one piece. Oh god, this is what happens, you say when you when you modify do modifications and you're testing stuff out could all go wrong <laughs> oh it wouldn't be NJ Tech would it without it's got it's just, back, yeah, I mean, van cooling find, find a way to mount this here <laughs> yeah I'll swivel it out when I'm riding have it on my face I think yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh insane so I was laughing at this van but then I realised it's got a flipping 18650 battery in it where did did you find this it was yeah somewhere somewhere on Amazon. I bought a few to test them out, oh. and uh, yeah, I need that. Last ages. What size of cell is that from? I think like on the lowest setting, it goes for like nine hours or something. What? Like yeah, it's crazy. It's pretty hot. It's been in the car, isn't it? Yeah, it was in the car. Yeah, just pulled it out. Drinks. Yeah, oh, and as the battery voltage drops, the back. Like, we have we having a debrief. Well, that was a success, guys. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're just um, working out what happened to the vapour and it's basically just the fuse because we're running a phase runner on that, um, on that, on that bike. Um, it's, it's pushing a little bit too much current for the, uh, for the, for the battery that we've got, which is the Kirby bike battery, um, which comes with the normal Kirby bike kit. It's the 52 volt 17 um, amp hour battery. So we actually had this problem with Neil's bike, didn't we? We had this problem before. Um, where, I mean, you shouldn't really try and exceed the limits of like what the battery's capable of, but if you want to and you want to suffer, you know, a bit of degradation of, is that a word? De de degradation. Degradation yeah. of, um, of kind of life cycles and stuff like that, then yeah, you can, you can, you know, push things to the limit if you want. Obviously, I've always done this on, on this channel, so you know that I'm a bit of a hooligan, but we found a fuse on, um, on Amazon um, which is a 50 amp fuse because we were finding that you can't find anything higher than a 40 amp fuse. Um, that was right, wasn't it? Yeah, and that, that was literally like two weeks ago, and out of nowhere, the Amazon gods have heard us. Mm. And uh, yeah, the 50 amp bladed fuses are, are a thing. I mean, the other thing they're throwing in the mix today is also the ambient temperature is absolutely horrific. Yeah, it's um, everything's very running hotter, lower efficiency. Um, that, that won't help. But this was the first go, the first time Steve had a go on this bike. So, what did you reckon? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, it's I, good. Want, I want one there. Took, took, took it like a duck to water. <laughs> <laughs> that bit down the hill was just, the drop off was just hilarious. <laughs> I can't I'm, so like, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed on how, how well it got up that hill. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to have to bow halfway and then just nail it. <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I thought with that? Because it was about 30 degrees, it was pretty damn mm. steep. And that, that's the problem with the uh, super view, GoPro view doesn't always give you a good idea of gradient of the hill, but yeah. it was, we were looking down it and it looked pretty intimidating. And for, for me, I, I know I would have just yeah. fallen off, but. I wouldn't have done that, I don't really? think that was. It probably didn't look as like steep in the camera, but it was definitely, yeah. that was definitely a drop off. And to have a fence wire at the end of it is probably just <laughs> absolute suicide, really, isn't it? But, 
Yeah. I'm glad I, I'm glad I didn't hit the fence cable on the way up with a runner. Because <laughs> that probably would have took my foot off the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would have, wouldn't have been an end to it. But I feel like enough happened today, like in this, just this little quick... For a quick hour ride, we, <laughs> yeah. we, we had some fun. Pretty good. So guys, that's it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, do the usual stuff. Go check out Steve's channel, Dude Stuff. I'll leave the link below. Also, Neil's channel, NJ Tech, for all this sort of stuff. Also, actually, we haven't covered any of the um, drainy bits on this one, so I'll probably leave this for another video, but, because this, this freaking rips. See you later, guys. Yeah.